All right. So in beaker one, I just have some pure water, and go ahead and start it stirring on here. What I'm going to add uh, before we add anything, um, like any of the HCL, I'm going to add an indicator. This is a Fisher Universal Indicator. The indicator itself might be hard to see in the back, but to start out, it's actually a green collar. Now I'm going to put this into the water and put quite a bit. You notice that the water now is yellow. And what would you guess the pH of this water would be right now? Around five, five something, five point five. Okay, it, it probably is about five and a half right now. Uh, this is distilled water, but it has set open to the atmosphere. So any CO2 that's dissolved, you know, has made carbonic acid. The carbonic acid will lower the pH below 7. So even though it's pure water, doesn't necessarily mean it's exactly the pH of 7. So this indicator at around 5 in pH is yellow. Okay, let's see what will happen. I've got some one molar hydrochloric acid. So let's take a pipette of this and add to the water. Now if the pH changes, we should see a collar change. Okay, all right. I only added a few drops, by the way, and you can see what happened. It's pink, okay? Now let's, let's see what would happen if I do the same thing. This is water. I'm going to put some buffer in this speaker, and I'm going to add some HCL to that. So, of course, first I do want to add my indicator. Now it may start out a little bit different. So obviously this buffer was a little bit more acidic than the distilled water that I had. Okay. But right now it's a kind of a light pink. Now if I add the acid and we see a change in pH, you know, if it gets more acidic, it should get darker. Okay. But if it doesn't change, then we can assume that there wasn't any change in pH. Okay. I'm going to add a few drops to start and we'll see what happens. Okay. All right, that was the same amount that I added to my water. Does anyone see a change? No. Okay, let's add a little bit more. I'm still adding. Any change yet? No. <laughs> All right, still no change. Okay, does anyone see a change? I don't. I don't think so. So I've added a whole dropper full, and there was still no change. So the buffer was able to maintain the pH. Okay, so just like the equation up here on our screen, when I added the HCl to the acetate buffer, the acetate on part of the buffer removed that extra H plus that I was adding, converted it over to acetic acid. Okay, so there was relatively no change in pH. Okay, all right. So let's take a look at adding a base to just some plain water first. So again, let's add some indicator. To, this is just distilled water again. Nice and colored. So again, it's yellow because the pH of the water um, is about five, five and a half. Okay, I have some one molar sodium hydroxide here. So we know 
Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. So if there is a change in pH, I should see a color change. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add. Okay, that was just a few drops of sodium hydroxide. You can see there was a pretty big change. So the solution went from the yellow to the purple color. So it changed pretty quickly. All right, my fourth beaker, okay, I'm going to go ahead and use, well, I'll, I don't have a stir bar for this, but um, we'll add some indicator to some buffer in here. I just have to swirl. Again, you know, it's it's going to be the light pink color. Yeah, getting it to mix without a magnetic stir bar. Okay. So pink collar should change if when I add the base a pH change. First, one, two, three. Okay. So I've added three drops of my base. And I don't see a change. Anyone see a change? Of course the indicator isn't mixed all the way. So no change. Let's go ahead and let's add in a whole dropper full. See if we can get it to change. Okay. Added in a whole dropper full of sodium hydroxide. Okay. And it's still pink. Okay. So as you can see, the with the buffer, okay, absolutely no change in pH. But with distilled water, adding a very small amount of HCl or sodium hydroxide, we did see a very large change in 